To auscultate the posterior thorax, use the diaphragm of the stethoscope. Begin at the apices and proceed downward, moving systematically from side to side, again in a ladder pattern, comparing breath sounds in symmetrical areas. Listen to the duration, pitch, and intensity of the inspiratory and expiratory sounds. Decide what type of breath sounds you are hearing and note any added sounds. Listen to at least one entire breathing cycle at each location. Take deep breath in and out with your mouth wide open, please. During auscultation, have the patient breathe deeply with his mouth open. If the patient becomes uncomfortable, allow a rest period. If you hear bronchial or bronchofascicular breath sounds where they should not be, listen for transmitted voice sounds. While auscultating the chest, again ask the patient to say 99. Say 99. 99. Voice sounds that are louder and clearer than normal as in this example, are called bronchophony. Next, have the patient say E. Say E, 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 E. When E sounds like A and has a nasal quality, as in this example, egophony is present, suggesting underlying consolidation of lung tissue. Finally, ask the patient to whisper one, two, three. One, two, three. When these sounds are louder and clearer than normal, as in this example, whispered pectoriloquy is present. All these changes in voice sound suggest that the air-filled lung has become airless. <laughs>